hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and if you are new welcome in today's video i'm gonna try to draw this reference photo using uh, a more intuitive approach but maybe a combination of a lumens method and a freehand method so the approach is going to be more intuitive than you know technical okay um so the tools i'll be using um this is a atp pencil it's really dark i don't recommend this uh great if you are a beginner or advanced i recommend you start with an hp pencil this is much uh, lighter but this one is really dark okay before we get started please if you have not subscribed yet please make sure you do and if you want to see the full process please stay until the end thank you so much so let's jump into it okay so i want to start with a circle okay not a perfect circle i'm just gonna go ahead and start with a brow line i feel like i need to place in that bro that brow line here and I'm gonna go ahead and start with the nose. Okay, so um, the other eyebrow, I feel like it's gonna start from here all the way to the top and then it comes inside. The other eyebrow, like this, and it's wrapping around that brow ridge. I'm gonna draw the nose. right about here so the tip of the nose is gonna be probably somewhere here okay um, the bottom of the nose maybe around here we can see the other side of the wing of the nose so let's draw that as well so for the eye So in a three-quarter pose, you can see the, especially when the eye is looking away, you can see the, the bottom plane of that top eyelid. And you can see that it's wrapping around the eye ball. Okay, the bottom eyelid. And now let's draw the far side cheekbone. And this is the most confusing area. But I like to start with uh, with straight lines. Later on, I will draw like uh, curves because it's easier to to draw. So the tip of the nose is almost touching this um, far side cheekbone. So I have to make sure that I get it correctly. Okay, so the tip of the nose here. And now we have the filtrum, which is uh, this small area between the bottom of the nose and the, the top lip. The inside of the nose or the nostril. all right so this is the bottom plane of that nose i'm not sure if that is maybe i made it too big i don't know yet but let's uh let's keep going okay so the corner of the nose i'm trying to simplify it as much as possible now the the top lip hmm. Let's see the corner of the mouth. I feel like it's going to be somewhere here. And her mouth is open. So we have to, we have to make the, the bottom third much bigger than the, the middle third. Because, you know, the jaw is open, which means it's wider than usual. Okay, so the chin maybe here okay so the forehead and 
maybe the hairline starts somewhere here and now let's come here and add this um, eyebrow I'm not checking I'm not doing any measurement I'm just drawing what I see and let's see what the results is going to be Okay, so for this one I here, I need to use the, the nose to get the proportion of this eye. Maybe here. Not sure yet. Okay, the upper eyelid. Maybe I should bring this one eye inside. Okay, so the, the tear rut, you can see a huge um, area around the tear rut and here as well, the bottom, um, the bottom side of that top eyelid. And now the iris. Okay, let's draw the other one to keep things in proportion. Okay, so we're gonna come here. Um, I feel like I need to add the ear. I'm using this one eyebrow here to draw the ear. Okay, the bottom of the ear, you can use the bottom of the nose to find that. And if you use your pencil, you're gonna see that they sit on the same line. Maybe somewhere here. The chin, uh, the jaw area and we connect that to the chin okay we add the neck maybe the bottom of this chin let's come back here on the eye we add maybe some planes Now I'm just going to add the details on the mouth. Okay, so the far side area.
Okay, so I'm gonna come here and add the curvy shape of her face or the cheek area. So she might not look exactly like her, but as long as the drawing is pretty convincing, then that will be enough. Okay, so the bottom of the mouth Now it's time to add the hair. Let's come here. Maybe once we add the hair, the, the likeness will come out. And what is this? I don't know exactly. So let's just draw some simple shape. Okay, and the hair. Maybe I should uh, make her ear a little bit bigger. Let's see. As you can see, I tend to use more lines than curves because that's that's the easiest way to um, to draw anything. And later on, you can add curves if you want, but using lines is much better. Okay, so um, let's just come here. Maybe the far side of her shoulder, um, the shirt. Just drawing some random lines. Let's add the back of the hair. Okay, and this hair lock. All right, let's add a little bit of hair here.
and uh, the neck let's see here Maybe we should erase this. Let's add some eyelashes and the drawing is complete. Um, I'm not gonna draw the teeth because uh, it's hard to draw to be honest and to make the drawing look more much better it's is it's a uh, it's a uh, recommended it's preferable not to draw the teeth okay let's uh, add uh, some details Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And check me out on Patreon if you want to learn how to draw portraits. I upload one hour video demos every week. Thanks so much guys for watching. I really appreciate. See you in the next video. Bye.